Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to plot RVC curve for the given problem definition. This is the solved example number 2. The link for other example is given in the description below. First, we will try to understand what is ROC curve. An ROC curve is a receiver operating characteristic curve. This curve is used to know the performance of a classification model at a different classification thresholds. If you want to draw ROC curve, we need to know two parameters. The first one is a true positive rate and the second one is a false positive rate. In this case, we have been given this particular data set. There are 10 different thresholds are there and we have been given the actual class as well as the calculated probability over here. Sometimes uh, it may happen that the given probabilities may not be in the decreasing order. So first we need to arrange those particular probabilities in the decreasing order and then we need to start building the ROC curve over here. Now, uh, if you want to draw the ROC curve, as I said earlier, we need to know two very important parameters that is TPR and uh, FPR. If you want to calculate TPR and FPR, again we need to know TP and FP here. Now, what is TP? TP is nothing but uh, the true positive. That is, uh, the actual class is positive and the example is classified as positive. That is nothing but a true positive here. Second one is false positive. That is nothing but the actual class is uh, negative and uh, it is classified as uh, positive over here. For example, let us take in this example, the actual class is negative and if it is classified as positive, it will become a false positive over here. Now TPR is equal to, that is a true positive rate is equal to TP divided by P, that is uh, TP is true positive and P is the total number of positive examples. FPR is equal to false positive rate, that is nothing but FP divided by N, FP is the total number of uh, false positive examples and N is the total number of negative examples here. Now, if you take uh, this uh, first example, uh, actual class is uh, positive over here and we assume that uh, 0.95 is the threshold in this case. Anything greater than or equivalent to 0.95 will be classified as positive and remaining everything will be classified as negative over here. So, this is the only example which is having uh, 0.95 as a probability. So, this will be classified as positive in this case and remaining everything will be classified as negative. So, because it is classified as positive and actual class is positive, so true positive will become 1 and false positive will become 0 in this particular case. Now, what is TPR? TPR is equal to TP divided by uh, P that is 1 by 5. FPR is equal to FP divided by 5 that is 0 by 5 over here. So, that is what I have calculated in this case and we got 0.2 as TPR and 0 as FPR over here. Take another example that is the second one. The current probability is 0.85. We consider 0.85 as the threshold now. Because 0.85 is a threshold, anything greater than equivalent to 0.85 will be classified as positive. So, this will be classified as positive and this will be classified as positive and remaining everything will be classified as negative in this case. Now, if you consider this particular example, the actual class is negative but it is classified as positive. The meaning is it is a false positive. So, previously we were having 1 as a true positive. Now, the false positive will be incremented by 1, it will become 1, 1 over here. Now, once you know these particular values, you can easily calculate TPR and FPR, that is 1 by 5 and 1 by 5, which will get be 0 0.2 and 0 0.2 over here. Now, take an example of third one. The probability is 0 0.78. We consider this as a threshold here. Because 0 0.7 is a threshold, this will be classified as positive, this will be classified as positive, and this will be classified as positive here. Remaining everything will be classified as negative here. Till now we have done the calculation, there is no problem over here, only thing is this one we need to consider here. Actual class is positive and uh, the calculated class is also positive, true positive, so this will become 2 and this will remain 1 over here. So that is what the values here and if you calculate the TPR and FPR, it will become uh, 0.4 and 0.2 in this particular case. So this will become 0.4 and this will become 0.2 in this case. Now, uh, if you want to understand, I will take one more example. Uh, let us assume that uh, this one, that is 0.55. If you consider 0.55 as a threshold here, this will be classified as positive again. And the remaining all we have already classified as positive because everything is greater than 0.55 over here. So till now, TP is 3. Because this is a true positive, it will be incremented by 1. It will become 4 here. And because it is TP, FP will remain same over here. The same thing has to be repeated for all the different thresholds. Finally, you will get 1 as TPR and 1 as FPR over here. Now, once you get all these particular values, uh, we need to draw the ROC curve. Uh, in this case, we will draw 
true positive rate against a false positive rate over here true positive rate is nothing but uh, sensitivity false positive rate is nothing but 1 minus specificity over here now i will start with uh, the x axis that is the false positive rate initially it is 0 the true positive rate is equal to 0 0.2 so that is nothing but this point i am talking the second one is uh, false positive rate is 0 0.2 and a true positive rate is 0.2 that is nothing but this point here next one is uh, 0 0.2 and 0 0.4 again it is 0 0.2 but this one is 0 0.4 over here next one is again 0 0.2 0 0.6 so this will be over here the false positive rate now is 0.4 and uh, true positive rate is 0.6 here we will get this particular point 0.4 is the true uh, false positive rate and the true positive rate is equal to 0.8 we will get it here 0 0.6 0 0.8 so this will be 0 0.6 and this is 0 0.8 over here 0 0.8 and 0 0.8 so this is 0 0.8 and this is 0 0.8 over here 1 and 0 0.8 so this is 1 and 0 0.8 is over here and lastly 1 and 1 that is nothing but this one over here finally we need to join this one so that we will be able to get a ROC curve for the given data set in this case so in this case I have discussed how can we draw ROC curve for the given data set I hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching